Good afternoon, and what is a warm, bright, and sunny day. It is Friday, the 11th of August. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. And a box set to unbox. This is the Dungeons and Dragons adventure game. The adventure begins now, uh, which came out during the period of TSR Silver Anniversary. So we're talking 1999. Um, includes everything you need to play. So, um, so on the back, play the world's greatest game. The classic game of fantasy returns with a new look and approach for a new generation. You control the action, you create the story, you use your imagination to enter a world of myth mythological monsters, heroic knights and magical spells. You take on the role of a brave warrior, a sly thief, a crusading priest or powerful wizard. You become the dungeon master, making the adventures come alive. But, uh, uh, inside this box is everything you need to start playing now. The Dungeons and Dragons adventure game includes two books, a Dungeon Master screen, eight hero folders, and six dice. There's no limit to the mysteries and magic with the Dungeons and Dragons adventure game, powered by imagination and more uh, interactive than any computer or video games. Uh, the Dungeons and Dragons adventure game is for two to nine players. Now this came out, what, 1999, really at the tail end of um, TSR's history within a few years you know within it would be owned by Wizards of the coast we have the third edition of dungeons and dragons published um under that aegis and um tsr would be no more so this really is the last uh, i'm guessing this is the last starter set that tsr published and this is uh, will come at a long run of starter sets or introductory box sets like for example like the first quench first quest adventure cd-rom game that tsr um released in an effort to try and capture the imagination of the role-playing market um and not only just that but go beyond it to capture so sort of like a, a wider audience um and these would often be sort of like highly produced or almost overproduced to the point where you know they had so much content so many items in you know they weren't really cost effective for the publisher so let's find out what's inside um so here we go open up and we have um does actually have some dice in there okay and a dice bag one of the tsr plastic plastic dice bags you could get back in the day I've got a couple of these, I think mine are red and blue. I hadn't seen, I don't remember seeing a yellow one, but I've got a yellow one now. And then beneath that, we have the Read This First, which is, it's almost, um, publishers are coming back to this, coming back to the idea of the box set a lot, especially with starter sets, and saying, you know, where do you start with this? You know, this is a starting role playing game, this is designed to get you going. The read this first um, should you, what is a DD game what's in the box what should you do first here are your initial instructions it's a bit plainly presented but it's there and it's the first thing you're going to see once you open up the box set and then um, beneath that we have the first of um several um uh, um character folios and these are all actually just sort of like bound together so they're, they're not separate but i will go through them so um you know we have a uh, dark blade human fighter uh, and this would list you know, essentially ability scores and attributes on the front some background and then in the middle you know we have basically a guide to what he does so fighting weapons and equipment special abilities and gaining levels so this will take you this will sort of like take you up to fourth level uh fourth or fifth level um you know going through the steps um and then we have a list of equipment on the back so that's just the fighter that's one that's the, the male human fighter that's dark blade then we have ilana um the female human fighter does the same kind of thing Mishva, uh, human priest, Niles, halfling thief, uh, and that includes on the back, you've actually, so uh, on, you, 
Um, so the other thing you should mention is what like. So where are the, the you know on the fighters you've got the equipment lists on the back of uh, Mischief, you have spell lists. On the back of Niles the Thief, you have a guide to mapping and a heck and, and a square grid to, to to use as part of your mapping. Peregrine, human paladin. Um, he goes back to having the equipment, so nothing special for the paladin. Uh, despite you know, sort of like um, he does have some special abilities, of course. Sunblaze, elf fighter wizard, and again that lists the spells for that character. Thaddeus, human wizard, same again, going to list his spells. Thordor, dwarf, uh, and of course the equipment list. So those are the eight or so character folios. Um, and then we have the rules book, sadly sounds cover. So this is not produced, this is in some ways not produced on a particularly high budget. You know, previous iterations of this sort of like have good, nice card covers and this isn't, so this means it's not really gonna stand up to a lot of handling. So we open up, what is D&D? Um, and it's explaining it, how to win or not win, the dice, uh, the elements of the hero folders, Game rules. Which, uh, so moving, fighting. Um, explanation of how to make an attack there in the box to text. Um, performing actions. Which, uh, gaining experience. And our game session works. And then you've got last words for players. Um, you know, it just says that's actually a nice piece of advice. So the first couple of game sessions might be a bit even as you new plans learn how to play the game. Um, you know, so there's a bit of advice there on how to handle that nature, it's sort of like because you've got to realize you, you, you're learning to play, so better go with it. Then the second part, of course, is for the DM, the dungeon master, on basically so you know, DM laws, DM basics, narrating adventure, running monsters, awarding experience. Um, so basic advice there before we've got a random dungeon generator as well um, content so you can actually get a bit more play out of this and rather than just the adventures in the adventures book and then we have an example of dungeon generation followed by the bestery And you've got some actually classic pieces of artwork for um, these creatures. But, uh, you know, recognize it like, you know, it's, it's very much the second edition Dungeons and Dragons style, but rendered here in black and white. Uh, and then at the end of it, it says, what's next? Where do you go next? Which is always a good inclusion for your starter set. You know, have you, did you enjoy the starter set? Do you want more? What more can you get out of the game? What's your next purchase? because that's the real key thing ultimately for the publisher. So then we get onto the adventures book and we have, you know, uh, when the world was young, set everything up, what the dungeon master sh should know, um, helping her prepare the games, preparing to play, tips for adventuring. Um, you, I, I, there's tips for adventuring here. It's an odd place to have that because this is the book is meant to be for the, for the dungeon master and those are tips for playing for the, for, for the uh, player and the character but anyway very quickly you get onto the town describing the town of Haven um, and its features uh, various locations and adventure one is the mystery of the under um, the undertown And you have a small dungeon area underneath the town for the players and their characters to explore. Um, 
and the various locations um, and so on uh, and the monsters they will encounter down there so that's adventure one uh, and so you know basically come to a click and just quite detailed descriptions of the various locations and then a conclusion covering uh, what happens next before we go on to adventure two the haunting of black isle these really are mini adventures more than anything um you you know you're gonna play i think you're gonna sort of like the um that first one that you know uh let's have a look um mystery of undertown um it's probably gonna be a couple of sessions and then we move on to the second one adventure of haunting Haunt of black isle with just that number one location that looks to be a much shorter adventure Essentially, you've got an island forest and a ruined tower to investigate. I mean, that could be done in a single session, I suspect. Um, adventure three, to find the dragon's lair. And here we have the dragon's lair. Again, that's relatively short. And that looks similar to sort of some of the things they've done since. Um, rough cave network. Um, the things that can be encountered there uh, and that comes to a conclusion and then we've got this sort of like equipment um, and treasures all the way up to magical armor and weapons let me have this folio which is for the gm um, okay so this is essentially sort of like a, a combined dungeon master uh, sort of playing screen to you on the inside you have a map of this is the map of haven which the game game dungeon master can refer to and on the inside outside you have essentially all the rules presented in one place for the uh, dungeon master to reference and the players and the players likewise and we have uh, a map of the veil and its location so um so yeah let's have a look see if i can find um, so there you've got um, Haven and the various adventure locations uh, discussed there. So um, that is the Dungeons and Dragons uh, adventure game published in 1999. That's going to be really interesting to review um, at some point because um, I'm always fascinated by starter sets and what they do. Um, to see whether or not they're really worth worth you know worth going going back to um so yeah uh those dragons adventure set published in um or adventure game published in 1999 well i hope you enjoyed this unboxing and look if you did then please do, do click on the like button down below and if you've got any comments or feedback i do appreciate you take the time post those and lastly if you want to be able to get more unboxings and look where you will see me out here with a box uh, which i will or game or book in this case a star set which which i will unbox and test about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea then please do click on the subscribe button down below thanks again for watching another unboxing and look and we'll be back again soon with another one bye for now